Because, you know, I don't know what it's like in your offices and with the rest of your partners, and I don't know if you're purely personal injury firms or, or you know, mixed firms, um, but there's a sort of downbeat, um, downbeat message coming back from what about Jackson, what about some um, referral office, what about they don't like us, the government doesn't like us. Um, and I just can't see it. What's happened over the last 15 years as we've grown um, our personal injury practices is um, uh, we've, we've, you know, we've had a fantastic time. We've had loads of challenges. There were challenges 15 years ago, there were challenges 10 years ago, and there's just another set of challenges. It's absolutely fine, this marketplace, and there's a fantastic opportunity. I think basically some people in the law are frightened that big conglomerates will be able to uh, be better solicitors than us. And I'm thinking not, so I'm going to try and put the optimistic approach. We did, we did loads of stuff over the last years, and I, you know, this is maybe my firm, everybody's got different firms, some firms claim and defendant, etc. But look at all this stuff that's gone on, and I know cost wars are still going on and all the rest of it, but lots of different challenges there. Um, uh, so we'll have a quick look at the threats, um, but, but I'm not sure the threats are to us. I think the threats, unfortunately, maybe are for the clients, you know, um, they're trying to clearly shift cost to the clients. Um, uh, anyway, I thought we'd have a little, uh, thought we'd have a little odd one out um, competition. Who's the odd one out? Does anybody want to hazard a guess? We've got uh, Gooley Jangley, uh, young uh, Jack Straw who lives in Blackburn, hasn't heard of claims management companies. Um, we've got Jacko. Who's the odd one out? They're all against us from a claimant perspective, I suppose you might say. Anybody got a view on it? Well, I think it's Jacko because uh, he's the only one who doesn't seem to have uh, his, his snout in the trough one way or another and seems to uh, um, be working against claimants uh, for, for, I suppose, moral reasons. Um, so, is the pint glass full or, or half full or half empty? We're going to be competing as we go forwards, and we always have to some extent um, been competing in non solicitor type operations. Um, but clients are actually, when you get down to the data, when you get down to the data on all of this, clients on, on balance are fairly happy with the service we offer. You know, we, we're not, I mean, I, I, um, we all deal with them, don't we? Bartley Card, you call their call centre up to get some service, uh, and you just, can't, you just can't get any service from them. Um, solicitor firms like ours, we're not all solicitors here today, but solicitor firms like ours are able to offer a fantastic service to their clients. And we've got all the club, the call recording systems, the trained receptionists, the, the, the induction teams, all the things that um, uh, we've needed to gear up with over the last 10 years or so to deliver a service, service standards, callback, time frames to return. We can do all that stuff just as well as anyone else. And this, this was two surveys together that came out with about 69% of PI solicitors being, uh, uh, PI clients being satisfied with their solicitors recently. Um, I, I think for people in this room who are thinking about the business, I think we can assume that might be, you know, be too arrogant, a little bit higher than that maybe. And they're good satisfaction levels. I'd like it to be 99%, but they're good satisfaction uh, levels. So ABS is what's going to happen now. Um, uh, I think there's a sort of view being peddled that only one thing will happen. That there'll be this consolidation in the marketplace, there'll only be room for big players, small players will be rolled up. Um, uh, and this is the model that's going to happen. And I just think there's going to be room for loads of models. Loads of different things are going to happen in this marketplace. And it's only just starting. It is a big change. It's an absolutely cataclysmic change. But over the next 10 years, it's going to span out. Um, I wouldn't say don't think about it, but there, there's room for small firms. There'll still be firms where there's one person doing 12 catastrophic injuries from his front room very, very well and looking after those clients, and there'll still be firms doing loads and loads of RTAs in a, in a bit of a process. There's loads of room for us to exist here and excel and do better than the big company, if I can put it that way. Um, but it will be based around do, uh, delivering a, a truly good service and, and results. There's loads of opportunity. So what do we do? Well, obviously, I have to, um, I have to walk the walk as well as talk the talk. So, uh, start of this year, I got my partners together, I said, um, we're going to stop prevaricating, we're going to grow, we're going to go to the bank, we're going to tell them we need three million quid, and we need to get growing, we've got zero gear in the moment, so that's quite a big decision for us to take, uh, and we're going to grow. Um, uh, just organic growth, you know, there's lots and lots of clients out there, I've only got 2,400 clients at the moment, and they didn't all come from this year, so doubling in size for me 
uh, is very, very doable in the marketplace where there's you know, a million clients out there every year. Um, so we're going to grow, and this is kind of over about 10, 12 months from now. I've actually bought the building next door. Um, I'm uh, going to start spending that kind of money on advertising because our model is going straight to the uh, public and trying to get people to instruct us. Uh, and a lot about cutting out the middleman uh, for our particular route to market. There's loads of routes to market, and I'm not saying this is the only one, but that's what we're doing. We're going to put our money, or well, the bank's money, where our mouths are. Um, going to do a lot more, and we're going to sort of double. Um, and, you know, uh, we've got some peripheral businesses that we're building up, a medical agency that we're hoping to build up. It does the work for our own firm. We're hoping it'll do more and more work for other firms, the same with the cost of listers business, and a few other ideas of that sort in the offing. I just think it's a fantastic marketplace, this at the moment. Um, um, the legal marketplace generally is expected to grow. I went on a, a seminar yesterday in London, I'm not sure I agree with these figures, but uh, is it 29 billion the whole legal marketplace, not just the new marketplace, um, at the moment per year? And there were people talking about it doubling. I don't know if that's going to happen over the next few years, but there's plenty of growth there. And new ways of delivering legal services kind of help us. You know, and, and, and competition is healthy. I'm absolutely happy for Express Listers to compete with co-op or whoever um, and try and find its niche and deliver a service to its clients. I only need kind of five or 10,000 of them um, to have really quite a big law firm. Um, sorry, I um, So that's where I'm coming at it from, a really, really optimistic approach. And um, if, uh, if uh, they're good enough to invite me back next year, I'll tell you whether I spent the three million and wasted it or not. Thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you.